very quickly let's create a currency converter in python so yeah let's just start first we need to go to api layer.com so from this we will be using an api that gives us live rates like what is the currency rate what is the currency conversion rate so what we will be using is fixer api but this might have changed when you are watching this so just search for fixer and now you get these results click on this fixer api and as you can see here it is showing this free plan so this is what we will be using click on subscribe and i'll just sign with google and once we are here as you can see you can see this api key now you can just click on this copy api key to copy it or uh, you can just go down and you can see these documentation read this but <laughs> this is not what we do as developers we just jump into code so now that we have our api key copied let's create a new folder for our project and i'll call it curve converter right and open this now we will open this folder in visual code visual studio code there are a bunch of ways to do that but for now i'll just hold shift and right click and you can also do this you can click on open with visual studio code or if you don't get this option in mac or linux just open terminal in this directory and just type code dot and now this will open visual studio code as you can see visual studio is already open and our project folder is open in visual studio code so now that we have our visual studio code open let's create the, our first python file and let's call it main.py so let's jump into the code now now we will import requests now that is the package that helps us uh, make requests to APIs. So I will just import requests. Import. And first, let's create a function that will, you know, ask for currency to convert and all that stuff. So let me write convert CRR. And first, we need initial currency let's say that is us dollar but it's not always be us dollar so we'll make it dynamic and we'll take an input from user and we will ask for enter the initial currency and after that we will have our target currency so it is like if user enters usd in the input uh, initial currency and let's say target came something else like Canadian dollars or Australian dollars or rupees or something else the target is the second currency so right enter the target currency all right so once user gives both of the currency what we do is we ask for the amount continuously until there is a user uh, there is correct amount so that's why we have this little loop so we first we try asking user amount and it can be like 10.6 and stuff so we will use float and we take input from user again and we ask enter the amount so this is the amount that needs to be converted from this currency to this currency and you're getting, you're getting an error here because try must have and accept block so add accept and we print what do we print if there's an error we print the amount needs to be numeric that is if the user enters abcd we will throw this error okay and we will hit continue so what this continue does is it will run this loop again and again we will ask this and if there's an error again we will say this and we will continue the loop again okay and if there is no exception that means if there is no error let's check for that so first case can be if the user has entered zero so we check if the amount is not greater than zero we again print the message amount needs to be greater then zero and we continue again so if this is correct but the amount is zero we run this loop again 
after we print this message. Okay, so if this condition is also not met, that means we finally have our uh, currency that is correct, that is 10, 11 or some numeric value. And else we just break out of the loop. That means we will no longer ask for the currency. And after we are out of the loop, we will convert the currencies from init to target. Okay, so for that we need our API URL. So let's check what the URL is here in our API layer. So if I go down here, we can just click on documentation. And there is this convert and the parameters are amount from to and date and all that stuff so as you can see here we have the code here in javascript you can probably yeah you can get it in python also so we will just copy this stuff is this the correct api key yep it is okay so it's very easy as you can see you can just copy it from here so let me just copy all this stuff here okay and i'll just paste it, paste it here Okay, let's indent properly. And our API key is also here. So yeah, we have almost everything ready. But now what we need to do is after we have the response from the API, we need to check the response if there's an error or something, right? So what you do is you get the status code from our response. And you check if status code is not 200. So 200 means we have the correct response. It means okay. If we we get a, we send a request and in response the response code is 200, that means everything is all right. So if everything is not all right, what we do is we just see what the error is and we get the response, convert it to JSON, and we print it. Right, error response and we just convert to string and print what the digital response is all right and after that we just quit the application but if there is no error what we do is again we can just copy this because converting the result to json is the same in both these things and what we do is after we have the result we just print and we say conversion result is result let's just convert it to string and print it all right so now what we do is we have our function ready but we are never calling this function so what we do is we check if name equals equals to main what we do is we just call our convert currency function now what this check does is this will check if we uh, our main.py is being imported as a module or is it being run run independently so if we are running this manually this will run but if our main.py is being imported as a module this will not run so let's try to run this using our control plus f5 let's see what we have here Okay, again, so now we are asking, it is asking for initial currency. Let's say it is US dollars. And let's say we want to convert the target to INR, that is Indian rupees, and let's enter the amount 10 US dollars. Hit enter again. So now we have conversion result, and there is a bunch of stuff here that is success is false, error 402, invalid from currency. So why is this invalid from currency? invalid from property let's i think usd is valid so maybe there is an error in the code so let's just exit from this let's check it to okay so our code is wrong here we just copied it from there as you can probably remember we copied this but our variables here are initial currency and target currency so to target currency okay because of over the f here is this code wrong yeah they have forgotten to put an f here so the score is also wrong so you put the f here 
and you type the target currency here and in form you enter uh, initial currency and then we have the amount correct now let's try to run this again using control and f5 now this should probably work the initial currency is currency is us dollars and the target is npr that is Nepali rupees the amount is let's say 11 this time and now this time success is true and we have a bunch of results uh, and the result is 1464 points this thing so how to get just this one and remove all this other stuff so as you can see here this is a json object right and we have success and we have query and then there is another nested json element then we have info this also has a json and then we have date and then we have result so here let's delete this instead of just printing everything from this result our amount was in the result key right so now let's run this again this time let's try something else let's say i want to convert it from canadian to usd and let's enter one two three let's hit enter and our 123 canadian dollars is 88.950894 us dollars this is how you can convert currency in python if you have any questions let me know in the comments below